Joe Rogan has recently revealed something terrifying that has been found at CERN that scientists cannot explain. Deep beneath Geneva, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN operates quietly, exploring the fundamentals of our universe. But recently, something unexpected happened at CERN, raising questions even the experts struggle to answer. What could this discovery mean for our understanding of the universe? How is the Mandela Effect related to this? Join us as we go into the details of this recent event at CERN that has sparked both curiosity and concern worldwide. At the heart of CERN's groundbreaking work is a mission to recreate the conditions of the universe mere moments after the Big Bang. How do they aim to achieve such a feat? Through the Large Hadron Collider, a giant machine that accelerates particles to near light speeds before smashing them together. This process creates conditions similar to those that existed just after the Big Bang, allowing scientists to study the building blocks of our universe in ways never before possible. However, something has been found out about these experiments that no one can explain. But what has been discovered, and why is the entire scientific world in shock about it? The story of CERN and the Large Hadron Collider is a fascinating journey through time. Located on the outskirts of Geneva, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, was established in 1954 with a vision to explore the fundamental secrets of the universe. This collaborative effort, born out of need after World War II, was aimed at using science for peace, bringing together nations and scientists in a quest for understanding the universe. The organization started with 12 founding member states and has since expanded, welcoming countries from around the globe to participate in its groundbreaking research. This spirit of international cooperation has been the cornerstone of CERN's success, fostering an environment where the brightest minds work together, transcending borders and political differences. The Collider's construction was an international endeavor involving thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians from all over the world. It was a feat of scientific ambition and logistical and technical prowess requiring advancements in superconducting magnet technology, vacuum engineering, and computing. The construction of the Large Hadron Collider, a project that began in the late 20th century and came to fruition in the early 21st, marked a pivotal chapter in CERN's history. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, is a marvel of engineering and physics. Stretching 27 kilometers in circumference and located 100 meters underground, it is a ring of superconducting magnets and accelerating structures that propel particles to near light speeds before colliding them. These high energy collisions recreate conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang, allowing scientists to investigate particles and forces at play in the early universe. The significance of creating this mini Big Bang is huge. By observing the particles produced in these high-speed collisions, scientists can uncover clues about how the universe came to be. In 2012, scientists at CERN made a groundbreaking discovery that would change our understanding of the universe, the Higgs boson. This elusive particle, often referred to as the God particle, plays a crucial role in the standard model of particle physics. It's responsible for giving mass to elementary particles, the tiny building blocks that make up everything in the universe. But what does that really mean? Imagine the universe as a vast ocean, and particles are like ships sailing through it. The Higgs boson is similar to the water in this ocean, creating a kind of resistance that gives particles their mass. Without the Higgs boson, particles would zip through the universe at the speed of light, weightless, and unable to form the atoms and molecules that make up stars, planets, and even life itself. The discovery of the Higgs boson was a monumental achievement for CERN and the entire scientific community. It confirmed the existence of the Higgs field, an invisible energy field present throughout the universe. This field interacts with particles, slowing them down and providing them with mass. The Higgs boson is a particle associated with this field, much like a wave is associated with the ocean. The implications of this discovery are huge. It solidifies our understanding of how the universe works at a fundamental level and opens the door to new mysteries. The discovery of the Higgs boson is a key that unlocks further mysteries of the universe. 
As scientists continue to study this particle and its interactions, however, some recent secrets have come to light that have shocked everyone. This is where the concept of dark matter comes into play. Dark matter is one of the universe's greatest mysteries. Despite making up about 85% of the universe's mass, it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it completely invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. This elusive substance plays a crucial role in the universe, influencing the structure of galaxies and the universe's overall structure. So, where does CERN come into the picture? Through the Large Hadron Collider, CERN is on a quest to understand dark matter secrets. The Large Hadron Collider, known for colliding particles at incredibly high speeds, creates conditions that mimic the early universe moments after the Big Bang. By analyzing the particles and forces generated in these collisions, scientists hope to find evidence of dark matter particles. The challenge with dark matter is its silent nature. It doesn't interact with electromagnetic forces, meaning it doesn't produce light or radiation that we can easily detect. However, if dark matter particles exist, they might occasionally interact with other particles in ways that the collider can observe. CERN's experiments are piecing together clues from particle collisions to build a picture of dark matter. While direct detection remains elusive, the collider's ability to probe the fundamental particles and forces of the universe gives scientists a unique tool to understand what dark matter could be made of and how it influences the world. However, CERN's quest to uncover dark matter is fraught with danger. By shedding light on dark matter, could CERN be opening a door into something dark that will potentially be dangerous to our world? One accident shows how dangerous this could be. This is where the tale of Anatoly Bogorsky stands as a reminder of the immense power and potential dangers associated with particle accelerators. Bogorsky, a Russian physicist, experienced something almost unimaginable. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, he accidentally exposed his head to a proton beam in 1978. The incident occurred when Bogorsky was checking a malfunctioning piece of equipment. Unbeknownst to him, the safety mechanisms had failed, and as he leaned in, a proton beam shot straight through his head. Remarkably, he reported seeing a flash, brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain at the moment of the accident. The beam entered the back of his head and exited near his nose, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. The areas of his face and head that the beam touched swelled up, and over the next few days, the skin at the beam's entry and exit points peeled off, revealing the path the beam had burned through parts of his brain. Despite the severity of the incident, Bugorsky survived. He continued to work in science, completing his PhD after the accident. However, the long-term effects were significant. He lost hearing in his left ear, where the beam had entered, and the left side of his face remained paralyzed. Over time, he experienced seizures and occasional complex partial seizures. The Bogorsky incident is an example of the power behind particle accelerators. While designed for scientific exploration to unlock the secrets of the universe, they are machines of immense energy and potential hazard. Bugorsky's accident, although unique and extraordinarily rare, highlights the importance of strict safety measures in the operation of such complex scientific equipment. This concern about CERN's experiments is also extended towards what they could potentially uncover. One of the most intriguing aspects of CERN's research involves exploring the theoretical possibility of parallel dimensions. This concept, which sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, is a serious area of study in theoretical physics. The idea is that our universe might be just one of many in a vast multiverse, each with its own laws of physics. So, how could CERN's experiments potentially reveal these hidden dimensions? It all ties back to the Large Hadron Collider and its high-energy particle collisions. These extreme conditions might be just right for revealing signs of dimensions beyond our familiar three-dimensional space. Theoretical physicists have proposed that if extra dimensions exist, they could influence the behavior of particles in ways that we can detect. For example, some particles produced in the collider collisions might disappear into these other dimensions, which would leave behind a distinct energy signature. Similarly, 
gravity, which is weaker than other fundamental forces, might be leaking into these extra dimensions, which could explain why it's so weak compared to forces like electromagnetism. The potential to discover parallel dimensions could fundamentally change our understanding of the universe. If multiple dimensions are confirmed, it would support the string theory, which says that particles are rather tiny strings vibrating at different frequencies. These strings could stretch into other dimensions, connecting our universe with others in the multiverse. Moreover, uncovering parallel dimensions could provide answers to some of physics' biggest mysteries, such as the nature of dark matter and the fundamental forces that govern the universe. If dark matter interacts more strongly with forces in other dimensions, it could explain why it's so difficult to detect using conventional methods. CERN's theories of the possibility of parallel dimensions is not a speculative endeavor. It's a journey to answer serious questions about the nature of reality. While the concept of a multiverse might seem like the stuff of fantasy, the science behind it is very real, grounded in mathematical theories and high-energy experiments. As CERN continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, we might just find that our universe is part of a much larger, more complex cosmos than we ever imagined. So why are scientists terrified about what these theories of parallel dimensions have uncovered? CERN's experiments with parallel dimensions have exposed us to a concept that was once thought to be just a conspiracy theory. Have you ever sworn something happened one way, only to discover your memory doesn't match the historical record? This phenomenon, known as the Mandela Effect, involves large groups of people remembering events or details differently from how they actually occurred. Named after Nelson Mandela, whom many incorrectly remembered dying in prison in the 1980s, the Mandela Effect has sparked curiosity and debate across the globe. One classic example of the Mandela Effect is the spelling of the popular children's book series The Berenstain Bears. Many people vividly recall it being spelled Berenstain with an E, insisting on their alternate memory despite evidence to the contrary. Another instance involves the iconic line from the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, where the evil queen says, magic mirror on the wall, while many remember it as mirror, mirror on the wall. These discrepancies in collective memory have left many puzzled and searching for explanations. Some theorists have linked the Mandela effect to the concept of parallel universes, suggesting that these collective false memories could be remnants or glimpses from alternate realities that have somehow merged or interacted with our own. The idea says that in some parallel universe, Nelson Mandela did die in prison. The Berenstain Bears was indeed spelled with an E, and the line from Snow White was, Mirror, mirror on the wall. According to this theory, our memories of these alternate realities seep into our current universe, creating the Mandela Effect. Another intriguing example of the Mandela Effect involves the famous line from the movie Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back. Many fans vividly recall Darth Vader revealing his paternity to Luke Skywalker with the phrase, Luke, I am your father. This line has been quoted, parodied, and referenced countless times in popular culture, reinforcing the collective memory of the phrase. However, upon re-watching the film, viewers are often surprised to discover that the actual line is, No, I am your father. While intriguing, the connection between the Mandela Effect and parallel universes remains speculative and firmly within the realm of theoretical physics and science fiction. Most psychologists and neuroscientists attribute the Mandela Effect to more mundane aspects of human memory, such as confabulation, suggestibility, and the way our brains encode, store, and recall information. Memory, they argue, is not a perfect record of past events but a reconstructive process that can be influenced by a multitude of factors, leading to widespread but inaccurate recollections. But where does CERN fit into this picture? Some speculate, albeit controversially, that CERN's high-energy experiments at the Large Hadron Collider might go beyond a quest for understanding the universe's fundamental particles. They suggest that these experiments could somehow influence reality itself, causing ripples that lead to the Mandela Effect. The theory says that by recreating conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang, CERN might inadvertently affect our timeline, 
or even create alternate realities that intersect with our own, it's essential to approach this theory with a critical mind. The collider, while powerful, operates within well-understood physical laws, and there's no scientific evidence to suggest it can alter the past or create parallel universes that merge with our own. The experiments conducted at CERN are meticulously planned and analyzed, with safety and ethical considerations at the forefront. However, one incident that happened at CERN made the scientific community worry that perhaps these safety considerations were not as strong as once thought. In 2022, during the third run of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, an unusual event captured the attention of scientists and the public alike. A prolonged disturbance in the Earth's magnetic field was observed, an anomaly that stood out due to its duration and intensity. This incident sparked curiosity and concern. Could the high-energy experiments at the collider have influenced our planet's magnetic shield and opened a hole to a parallel universe? The Earth's magnetic field, an invisible force that protects us from solar winds and cosmic rays, is crucial for maintaining the balance of our planet's environment and the safety of electronic infrastructure. When this field is disturbed, it can lead to geomagnetic storms, affecting satellite communications, GPS systems, and even the electrical grid. The 2022 incident was notable because the disturbance lasted for an extended period, much longer than the usual fluctuations caused by solar activity. In response to this event, a series of investigations were launched to understand the nature of the disturbance and whether there was a direct connection to the collider's activities. Scientists from various fields, including geophysics, solar physics, and particle physics, collaborated to analyze the data from the time of the anomaly. The initial phase of the investigation focused on reviewing the operational records of the collider. Scientists examined whether there were any unusual events or experiments conducted that could explain the magnetic field disturbance. They looked into the energy levels, particle collision rates, and any new experimental setups that were in place during the third run. Parallel to the review of collider operations, Experts in solar physics scrutinized solar activity data to rule out the possibility of an extraordinary solar event being the cause of the disturbance. Understanding the sun's behavior during that period was crucial, as solar flares and coronal mass ejections are known to impact the Earth's magnetic field significantly. The investigation also considered geological factors that might contribute to such an anomaly. The Earth's interior processes, such as movements in the molten core, can influence the magnetic field. Scientists explored historical data to identify any similar incidents in the past, which could provide insights into natural cycles or occurrences that might explain the 2022 event. While the incident raised questions about the potential impact of human-made high-energy experiments on Earth's natural systems, it also highlighted the need for continuous monitoring and research to safeguard our planet's delicate balance. As of now, the link between the collider's operations and the magnetic field disturbance remains a subject of study, with scientists committed to unraveling this mystery with rigorous scientific inquiry. There has been no answer to this mystery, and we are still left in the dark about what really happened on that day. Uncharted Territory CERN's groundbreaking experiments, particularly with the Large Hadron Collider, pushed the frontiers of what we know about the universe. But with this exploration, comes a series of ethical and existential questions. What are the risks of diving into realms of physics that are still shrouded in mystery? And how do we balance our quest for knowledge with the responsibility to avoid unforeseen consequences? The pursuit of understanding the fundamental particles and forces of the universe is undeniably noble. Yet, as we inch closer to replicating conditions that existed at the dawn of time, we go into uncharted territories. Theoretical physicist Sean Carroll expresses this sentiment well, emphasizing the importance of approaching these scientific endeavors with both curiosity and caution. He suggests that while the pursuit of understanding quantum mechanics and other complex phenomena is crucial, the scientific community must also be mindful of the potential implications of their discoveries. Carroll, among other experts, often discusses the need for a balanced approach to scientific discovery. The excitement of potentially uncovering new particles, forces, or even dimensions is tempered by the responsibility to consider the broader impact of these findings. 
For instance, the speculation around CERN's experiments potentially affecting the Earth's magnetic field or opening gates to parallel dimensions, while largely theoretical, show the need for rigorous safety and ethical standards in scientific research. The conversation around the ethical implications of CERN's work also extends to the use of vast resources, both in terms of funding and intellectual capital. With significant investments directed towards understanding the universe, questions arise about prioritizing research that addresses immediate global challenges. However, as Carroll and others would argue, the pursuit of fundamental science often leads to unforeseen benefits that can address broader societal issues. But have previous experiments done at CERN led to benefits in our daily lives? While CERN is primarily known for its exploration of the universe at the smallest scales, its contributions extend far beyond the world of particle physics. The research conducted at this prestigious institution has led to practical applications that touch various aspects of our daily lives, particularly in medicine and technology. One of the most notable examples of CERN's broader impact is in the field of medical imaging. Techniques developed from particle detection technologies used in experiments like those at the Collider have been adapted for medical use. For instance, positron emission tomography scans, a staple in modern medical diagnostics, have benefited from advancements in particle detection technologies pioneered at CERN. These scans, which help doctors identify cancer and monitor heart and brain functions, are a direct testament to how high-energy physics research can contribute to life-saving medical technologies. Pentaquarks are exotic forms of matter, consisting of four quarks and one antiquark bound together, unlike the more familiar protons and neutrons made of three quarks. This discovery opened new avenues in understanding the strong force that binds subatomic particles together. This helped further enrich the field of particle physics. The impact of CERN's work goes well beyond theoretical physics and the quest to understand the universe's fundamental forces and particles. Through practical applications in medicine and technology, CERN demonstrates the tangible benefits of investing in fundamental science. These advancements, often unexpected, highlight the broader value of curiosity-driven research, reinforcing the importance of supporting scientific endeavors that push the boundaries of human knowledge. CERN and the Large Hadron Collider stand at the crossroads of awe, inspiring discoveries and mysteries. From the groundbreaking detection of the Higgs boson to the strange nature of dark matter and the theoretical possibilities of parallel dimensions, we're continually reminded of the vastness of the unknown that lies ahead. Thanks for exploring with us on Space Voyager. If you enjoyed these revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.